I'm going to do a quick video on how to uh, rebuild a th uh, HP Thin Client. Um, they come with a, usually a, uh, just a light OS, either Windows 7 or uh, in my case, they all, it also comes with a Linux version um, of Thin Client. So uh, uh, the unit itself, we'll just take a quick look at because it's acting up. It's not booting up. I'm getting a fuzzy screen. Uh, that's the unit. If you pull out the card, there's a little flip card there. Pull that out. You can kind of see the model type. You're going to go onto the HP website, which I have somewhere. Okay. You go onto the HP website. You're going to go look up the model, which in my case is HP T510. Thin client. We'll go back one. So this is on the HP site. And then softwares and drivers. Hit go. And then once you're on here, I would recommend doing the BIOS. Uh, we're just going to click on the BIOS. Um, and then in here, here is the recovery uh, image for the operating system. And here's your multiple versions of what you can get. So Linux, OS independent, or Windows. In my case, I just need Linux and I need the Thin Pro uh, client. <clears throat> so, first do the BIOS, which you got to download right over here. You have to create a bootable disk, so go to these guys. I know I, I'm giving you guys the Coles notes and not showing you step by step, but I would hope you guys could, if you're doing this kind of work, you got to know computers, you have to have some kind of background there. Um, so, howtogeek.com, these guys are great, and all you're looking to do is download this focus. Rufus. So you're going to download Rufus. Okay, once you got Rufus downloaded, here's Rufus right here. Oh, I'm shaking. Come on. I need a tripod. There's Rufus. You can see quick format and create a bootable disk uh, using FreeDOS. Uh, you just put in a USB stick and you hit start and away you go. So that's how you create the bootable disk. Uh, then you have to go get the BIOS drivers, which I showed you guys on this website. Here's the BIOS 105. You download that. You extract that downloaded folder to, in my case, I downloaded it to where? Right in here. Uh, BIOS flash and what you're looking for is the DOS flash now you're gonna copy that da DOS flash folder over basically these files you're gonna copy that over onto your bootable USB stick which you created with Rufus see Rufus there we go okay you're gonna copy it. just that folder you can just go ahead and do that now once you copy that folder off over you're going to boot up with uh, the bootable di uh, USB stick. Uh, you're going to go in there. You're going to go, you know, C, D, uh, C colon backslash DIR, give you the directory folder structure. You'll see the DOS flash folder. You'll go into DOS flash, okay, for this guy, and you will run flash dot bat, which basically behind the scenes tells it to run the following da 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 and flash the BIOS so so that's how you do the BIOS part and now we want to restore uh, the operating system so you're gonna go back to the HP website I might run out of time here I want to do this within five minutes so it's not too long so okay you're gonna download the software I downloaded the 64-bit version one software I already did all this stuff now once you download it you're gonna run it and there's an option to create a USB um, bootable ISO image and that's basically what I'm doing so I have another USB stick in my computer I'm uh, it's creating the image right now onto that bootable uh, USB stick I'm gonna put that USB stick back into this guy I'm then gonna boot